So we're in Houghton, Michigan. It's a uh, dense fog. We had a boondock in a Walmart last night, in the Houghton Walmart. My tire is going flat, and sometime last night, a Hearst parked next to us. Should be a great day. Hey guys, welcome to This Nomadic Idea. Our channel is all about traveling the country in the 1976 Airstream, backpacking van, and uh, just traveling and backpacking all over the country. Uh, today we're in the Porkies, in the UP of Michigan. We're gonna spend a couple weeks just traveling and kayaking and backpacking and RVing it all up into the UP. We're gonna tell you some of the best spots to go and how to get there and what to expect. So we're gonna cover the UP from west to east and we're gonna start with the Porkies. Porcupine Wilderness State Park is absolutely beautiful wilderness and state park all in one. It's also in the Ottawa National Forest. So if you are a backpacker or an RVer, the place you want to go starting from west to east in the UP is the Porkies. And you want to be at Union Bay Campground. It is a beautiful RV campground. If you make your reservations early, you can park right along the lakefront. So the Porky's has a lot to offer the RVer, the backpacker, and the nomad. But for the RVer who likes to backpack, there is no better place to be than Lake of the Clouds in the Porcupine Wilderness area because it offers both approximately just a few miles away. You can catch the Lake Superior Trail, right off the state park and leave your RV there. So the Porcupine Wilderness area is definitely the place to go if you are in the UP and you are an RVer, you are a van dweller, or you are a backpacker. If you don't like backpacking, but you want to just do some day hiking, best place to go day hiking around in the Porkies. Go up to Lake of the Clouds, you can park, it's a $9 a day parking pass and get the view of a lifetime and then just do some day hiking. Come back to Union Bay, which is $28 a night and you get full hookups with a 30 amp service and you can't go wrong. So we're watching uh, sunrise in the UP, and um, it's absolutely, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. Our next stop is Houghton, Michigan. Houghton's probably one of my favorite places to go because one, it has the access to IRL via the Ranger 3 at the National Park Service headquarters in Houghton. The other reason why I like it so much because it's got one of the best free boondocking places in the UP as far as I'm concerned, and that is Lake Pura. Lake Pura is exactly nine miles south of the Houghton Walmart and it is a beautiful, beautiful lake that a class C can go to, uh, probably a camper trailer, a pop-up, a van, a tent, you name it. It is a beautiful, beautiful boondocking spot for absolutely free. There are no signs. You cannot uh, see it from the road other than there is a brown boat ramp sign and the brown 
boat ramp signs are the key to some free spots in the UP. If you see a brown boat ramp sign, it's usually by a lake and there's a boat ramp and that's some of the best hidden secrets of the UP. You can GPS it. In fact, this location is on freecampsites.net. I'll put a link right below so you can check it out. The other place, of course, in Houghton is Walmart. And we spent two nights there because I got a flat tire. Hey, you ready to go? <laughs> yep, I think I'm ready to start the day. Airborne, ready to roll. <laughs> So uh, it was it was the valve stem on our uh, tire. We got it fixed. The other really cool thing about Houghton is that it's one of the very few communities that I've really been to where they have public hot showers. It's coin operated, but for 50 cents, you get a four minute scolding hot shower for the public. And it's right there in the Houghton City Park right along the canal. They've got a little skateboard uh, ramp around over there for the kids, and they've got some picnic tables. So if you are nomadic and you don't have a shower in your RV and you're looking for a hot shower and you're in Houghton, Michigan, they've got coin-operated hot showers right in the city park. <laughs> So moving east, we stop at Munising, Michigan, or Munising. Munising, Michigan is the home of Pictured Rock National Seashore. And you want to visit Pictured Rock? Well then, Bay First Campground in the Hiawatha National Forest is my favorite, and it's right on the lake. And it sits right off Lake Superior. Now, it is $20 a night, and if you want a prime primo spot near the lake, you can reserve it early. I reserved my spot six months in advance to go kayaking in and look at the pictured rocks on a beautiful Saturday morning. We had a blast. But Bay Furnace Campground is all time my favorite in Munising, Michigan. It's right next door to Christmas, Michigan, and you cannot miss it. There's a big Santa Claus in front of the entrance to Bay Furnace. It's a great campground, we love to stay there, and we had a great time there. So, Pictured Rock National Seashore is absolutely our favorite destination. Um, I've done that trail uh, four or five times, I think now, and Pictured Rock has all kinds of camping in there. Uh, most of the sites are $20 a night. Most of the sites you're going to have to reserve, but they've got room for every kind of rig or tent there. We usually go to Hurricane River Campground. That's on the northern end of Pictured Rocks. Well, the reason why we like that so much is because it's got everything for you. You can park your rig, your RV, leave it there for a couple nights and just hike on the North Country Trail, which is literally, if you go to the lower section of the campground, literally, 10, 20 yards away from your RV. Take that 1.5 miles to the All Sable Lighthouse and have a picnic at a working lighthouse where a family still lives in that lighthouse today. It is a beautiful, beautiful place. From the lighthouse, you can see the great sand dunes off of Lake Superior. So it has a lot to offer. So when we go and backpack pictured rocks, or we day hike pictured rocks, or we just want to like, just take in the view, we go to Hurricane River Lower Campground 
in Pictured Rocks. Uh, the other really good place to go is you can go to 12 Mile, that's a bigger campground, and the North Country Trail or the Lakeshore Trail runs right through the campground. So the one thing you should know about boondocking in the UP is that Michigan has a parking pass for $33, and for uh, residents it's $10, for non-residents it's $33. This park pass sits is a sticker and it sits on your license plate. You can park almost anywhere in the UP if you have a camper van, um, uh, a stealth van or pop-up or a small rig, you can park in any of the designated park areas for the Hiawatha and Ottawa National Forests. This gives you carte blanche. In fact, there's a place in Marquette, Michigan, which we did stop through, and the Walmart in Marquette is awesome, by the way, but there's a place right in Marquette that you can park there for free, as long as you have that parking pass. So if you're gonna stay in the UP for any length of time, and you wanna just do it all for free, and kind of boondock on the way, it's definitely a good idea to get the Michigan parking pass that really opens up your area for parking and boondocking for free. So, I'm in Mackinac City, made it out of the UP, and just had a great three weeks of backpacking, kayaking, hiking, camping, and just and just playing around. It was a great fun time. So please, subscribe to our videos, give it a thumbs up if you like it. I'm headed to a YouTube summit or get together with some people I've been dying to know. And uh, I'm going to Elkhart, Indiana. So I got about a five hour drive. Uh, the Mackinac Bridge was beautiful. I finally got to drive over it and just had a blast. So I'm headed to Indiana. We'll see you guys later. Bye.